Hello. Um, I don't know if I'm live. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Hello. Ha. Huh. Um, I don't know if I'm live. <laughs> Let me please tell me. Are you hello. hearing me? Hello. Ha! Huh. I hearing myself, and I don't know why. Um, oh, I don't know thank you. Life. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Let me it's please weird. tell me. Are you hello. hearing me? Hello. Mm. Ha! Huh. I hearing myself, and I don't know um, why. I think I have to. Oh, I don't know thank you. Life. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Let me it's please weird. tell me. Are you hello. hearing me? Hello. Mm. Ha! Huh. I hearing myself. And I don't know why. Um, I think I have to. Oh, I don't know thank if I'm you. Live. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Let me it's please weird. tell me. Are you hello. hearing me? Hello. Mm. Ha. I hearing myself, and I don't know um, why. I think. Thank you. I'm live. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Let me it's please weird. tell me. Are you hello. hearing me? Hello. Mm. And now, are you hearing me? <laughs> oh, Amy, I would love that no sound at all. Oh my goodness. All good? Uh, Amy is saying that is all good. Amy. Everyone is hearing me now and only once. <laughs> Good now? Oh, awesome. Thank you. Okay, that's awesome. So, oh, now it's working and I'm so happy to be here. Hi, everyone. Uh, oh, I'm seeing many names that I know. Thank you so much. And the other ones that I don't know. So, I am so happy to be here on Wonderless Live, yay! <laughs> um, for those you uh, th that don't know me, I am Francisca Nunes and I live here in Portugal and I'm a mixed media explorer. I really love to explore uh, mediums and combine them with nature. Nature is my inspiration, as you will see. Um, and well i'm so thrilled and honored that this year i will be a guest host when wonderlust and that that is amazing that means that i will be with you um once in each of the themes that i will be share with you six classes so it will be amazing an honor and yeah i hope you all join us uh, it's an amazing year of learning and exploration techniques shares all um, the um, the artists inside wonderlust are amazing it's really a project if you know me for a while you know that i've been with wonderlust and the team for some years and i just love this project and it's very connected to my heart so yes join us the link is below i think or Amy is putting on the chat. So, yeah, uh, to another VLS, thank you, Sally. <laughs> uh, yes, USA, UK, okay. Anyone from Portugal? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> oh, my chat disappeared. Sorry, a little bit, because I want to, to see, be able to see what you are saying now it disappears well but i want to start a word mm, so sad because now i cannot see what you were saying well i will not 
make nothing here. Sorry, but for now, I will not be able to see what you are saying to me because I lost my shit. And I am afraid of doing something. Let me see. Ah, okay. Now he's here. <laughs> okay. Florida, US, Oregon, okay. Barcelona, yeah. All over the world. That's awesome. Amazing. So, what I've prepared for us today, I hope you have, I will share with you some of the, the things that we are going to use uh, for the play because this is not only conversation. <laughs> and that's all awesome that you can hear me and see me. Awesome. Not from Portugal, Fatima is my happy place. <laughs> oh, okay, yes. So, as I told you, nature is my inspiration, all forms of nature, but uh, this time of the year, flowers are my big energy uh, force. And uh, some of you know that I have a garden where I, I grow my vegetables and and I grow lots of flowers and it started because I wanted the, the flowers to be uh, bee keepers and to bring um, the pollinators and it started to grow because I really loved and I echo print with them and today I, I we are going to work in spider on a bouquet of flowers just look at these colors so Nature is really, we can find everything, the colors, the shapes, the texture, it's the base, I think, and then we go and move for other areas. Uh. <laughs> so, I'm going to switch a little bit from this point to here, so you can see um, what we are going to do. And you have in anticipation a little um, a supplies list, so I hope you have these in here near you, because simple supplies. I selected something simple, but we can play a lot with this. So what I have in here: two um, A5 uh, mixed media paper. Let me see. I use. Oh, thank you. I use Fabriano mixed media, but yeah, you can use anything that you have on hand. Even if you don't have mixed media paper, uh, uh, the regular drawing paper, it serves the purpose, okay? Because we are just going to play. Uh, I know, Celtic is saying our flowers here are over, and I must say that started to rain today and we already can see fall in advance in the landscape. It's really amazing. Most of the garden is already falling and dried and uh, faded. So I have to run to press more flowers and to, to echo print with some so we can, so I have more flowers during the winter <laughs> because it's uh, running, yes. So I was saying that we are going to use two papers like A4, A5 size. Uh, watercolors, any kind of watercolors that you have. So these are tropicals from Prisma, Prima, yeah. But I had it some, some of there, it's messy because I'm really messy. And some, um, some brushes and only a pen and a, this is a uniball micro uni ball yes and a pencil Here it is and then I have water a little pot of water and a little container with water because we want to just clean our brushes okay and that's it and I want just just to give you a glimpse on what you are going we are going to play with these flowers and the exercise is this. Imagine, okay, you probably don't have flowers there where you are right now. Only zinnias and native lilies are still pretty. Yes, we have to, to use what you have around 
let me see okay imagine the exercises that we start like um Imagine that you are looking to the, the, the flowers on the top and you close a little bit your eyes and you see everything blurred and then you are not drawing flowers very well but we are just catching the colors and some of the shape the shapes, okay? So we are starting from there. And we are going to do something like this, okay? Just play with color and some shapes to do another thing that we are, I'm going to share later on. Something like this, okay? We want color and messy flowers, let's just more of the shape, okay? The flowers. So, can we start? Are you prepared with your things? Because uh, time flies, so I want to play. I can only see your face. Okay. Do you don't you are you not seeing my plate? No. Are you seeing my plate in my hands? Because I I will work and I want that you see. Yes, can you see my workspace? No. Oh. Oh, I was literally sharing with you everything and you were not seeing anything. Brilliant. Really? No, we can't see your work. I'm afraid, Francie. Oh. And now? Mm. And like this now? I think... Now you can see, I think. Yes, <laughs> we are going there. Oh, yes, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this is too tacky for me. So, uh, okay, so I was sharing everything and you didn't see nothing. Oh, sorry about that. I was sharing the supplies that I have here, sorry. And I was sharing everything, like the, the paper, the watercolors, and the brushes. And then I was sharing what we are going to do, okay? The, um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> awesome. Um, what we want uh, is to, to bring the shape and the colors. <sighs> yes, my gold plate. I found it in affiliate market. <laughs> and we want the, like, take a picture of the colors and play with color and some shapes, okay? Really? I have a big, a big, uh, how can I say? Um, The, the, the name, sorry. Amy was saying that, <laughs> loving your voice, because probably I have, um, I don't know the name, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's get started now that you can see my hands and my work. Yes, are you prepared? Because I want you to, to play with me, and after the live I want to see your pictures in the, the classroom, are in on Instagram, okay? So, I'm going to put this aside. Of course, I have a cleaner, a, um, a fabric to clean, or some paper to clean. That's okay. Let's go to these, and now uh, accent. That was the name that I was finding, the, the word that I was, uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I have accent, of course I have, but I always think that I don't have, so yeah. So let's get started with activating a little bit of our, our watercolors. You have 
water and the paper. So we start with this one. And my... I'm going to start with a, a medium size of a brush, not too thin, not too um, uh, fat. A medium size, okay? Because we want to create these uh, washes of color, so this medium size is good. And the idea is not, this is for all the beginnings. I have a beautiful, I have a, a cool story. Uh, when I started years ago, I thought that I had to dry, to draw very well the flowers, very precise. And my husband has, is a very under, um, amazing drawer. Uh, and I asked him to, to give me some lessons on how I could draw beautifully flowers and well drawn. And always he said to me, you don't need to do that. You just need to do whatever comes out from you and then you keep going. And that's the thing. So I want you that for you, that if you draw already beautiful flowers, just go for it. But the idea today is not that. It's just... well, this is play um, freeingly, okay? Okay, like me. No table. You, you are not seeing my table. Okay. Yes, and me here. So, well, I'm going to start with, I think I'm going to put my this here, okay. with the orange and let's just create some of the shapes. Now we don't need to, um, to think that we want to draw any flower at all, we just want some shapes. Okay, we can start with big ones because we are like, imagine that we are scanning the top of our bouquet and making that uh, picture on the top. I'm going to start with the the orange, then I want some pink. I love pink. Are you playing with me? Can you, we can see your table. Okay, awesome. You can turn your paper upside down and then play another direction just to create this um, shapes and because we are using a wet medium it's going to bleed one for another that's amazing that's awesome then we can start making some little ones in the middle of the bigger ones. Now, uh, more P. Yeah. We can draw some lines and some shapes and because we can play with transparency you can go on top of that the other ones okay i love the pink going 
and bleed like this. Now I'm thinking, okay, now I, 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 want, I like to dry a little bit, but I have already some that are already dry, and the ones that are already dried, I like to come again, okay, and then add another, another layer on top, and I already see um, the, the different colors of the orange. of this a brown on the the center of the flowers and we kept going and we start to see some flower shapes the color palette it was from here yes we I'm using the oh, oh it's here the yellows the purples on different colors the oranges the 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 red and wait, wait, wait. and you can make make them a little bigger two drops on here okay Now we want to dry and let this dry and while this one is drying we are going to the next page. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to add just a little blue. I have here blue. reminds me the um, hydrangeas that I have outside. Okay, now we need to put aside a little bit because I want to do some more ideas with you, which now these were just the um, the blocks of color, the shades, okay? So now imagine that we want to draw to to have some shapes more uh, precise of our of our flowers, some petals. So let's go with this um, with this uh, round brush. I'm going to pick the pink and I'm going to just do this. Oh, it was not enough pink. We we put the 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 bristles. I think that's the name of the the brush. And then you just uh, had some uh, strength on here, and we move the paper, and then we are starting to make like a, a flower. But we don't want too much precision on this also, okay? It's just to uh, move one step from here to another step, okay? And create... I am with this, but I think I don't even need this, sorry. I think my voice is not from here, but okay. <laughs> I'm afraid. So, okay. Just like this, imagine this. You go around with your... Um, paper and then let's create another one a pink one if they were with a bigger uh, petals reminds me our my cosmos 
How simple is this, isn't it? I want another one here. Okay, now I'm going to switch for, for example, yellow. Ooh. And now we are going to make another kind of petals, more... Um, we are going to do the same, we put our brushes, but now we just move a little bit around and we have another kind of petal. can make just three because it's another different it's a different one because some petal some flowers have three petals I'm going to move to another color I want now uh, the the orange yes orange or because I have yes the orange okay now uh, imagine these ones that have these little I don't know if this is dahlias I don't know if they are dahlias but they they have these little petals like this so we can mimic that just like the drawing but again we are putting our hand loose and we are not thinking too much on if it's very well done or not because you will see at the end what we are going to do with this so yeah and making these you are creating dynamic on your paper because you are putting different shapes um and creating layers so that's an amazing thing I'm going to add some uh, blue right now. And make some little ones. Also, you are um, exploring the different sizes you create a more beautiful um, pattern because your flowers are not all at this the same size yeah. uh, I think it's purple now yeah that is purple I'm going to draw some more. You now can draw with more larger um, petals and we can go on top of the other ones, okay? There's no problem at all. one uh, yeah for example on here you can make them like this because we have plants that have um, that the petals on vertical shape and we could be just yeah relaxing and playing uh, just for fun now I want to dry these 
because I want to make another thing with you here. And again, I like, you can always come again and play on the top of the ones that are ready, almost dry, to add some more um, details or um, depth on your pattern. Depending on the time that you have, you can continue creating this, okay? Now, let's this uh, put this one aside a little bit and I have to make a little noise now because I want to dry this, otherwise we don't have time, okay? I'm allowed to that. Okay, okay. I'm going to make noise now. Let's dry this. Yeah. We can also dry, let me see. We can also try making like this, just to help to me help me not to make so much noise, and then I will try. Okay, because I want to make some um, leaves and greens in here. So, what I like to do is, because our flowers, our bouquet has greens, and this is one of the things that I really like to do is that instead of drawing the entire flower as it is perfect, we started creating the, the first layer with colors and shapes, and then we can draw some flowers, just like the random shape. And now I'm going to add some greenery not in each one of these flowers but randomly on the paper to create this sense of that we are we have the greens we uh, on your face you are not seeing my my table and i'm going to Grab some greens and randomly just create on top some of the leaves and the stains. Okay, just, I had too much water. It's another layer on the top of the ones that we already created. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, sometimes uh, the delay can happen, yes. So we are adding some some greenery. to watch to the time yeah now I want to hand a little bit on here and you can put your uh, greenery in any kind of order because it, this is just a representation um, like extracting the colors and the shapes from our bouquet. Okay. 
Thank you. I hope yours are getting awesome too. I'm for I know for sure that you if you are making them, it's a, a win. I know. <laughs> because there are no mistakes, there are no rules on here. Now, I want to stop because I want to go further on here. But of course, we can continue and like playing as we have the time. What I like to do next, and I start from here, I really, I just want to clean my, my table a little bit because it's wet. Mm, just um yes i come with either or a pen or a pencil or both okay and we are going to start um seeking for some of the flowers on here and but again very loose and very um, not precise just uh, literally getting the flow of the the flower nothing very uh, very precise okay it's just doodling on top for example here I see this so I can make the center and again very loose with your hand here it made seems like a, a pansy And we just doodle on top of them. And many times the shape that we created brings up the flower that we can just draw on top. For example, here I see one right here. is a really a relaxing relaxing thing to do uh, for example the the the, the flower the, the leaves and I will switch from the pencil so you can see I, I like both because they, they have um, different dimensions on the paper Example here one. This one is, yeah. Probably you, you can see very well. You can see very well the pencil. It's subtle. And the idea is to keep going on all of the paper. Uh, we don't need to go to all the flowers, of course, we just need to, to make like a composition that we feel that is good. I'm going to do a little bit on this one. Just look at this and I here I can see like two flowers. So I'm going to make one and another one at the center. Yes, it is a uniball, uniball eye micro. Yes. Uniball. For example, on here, I would come and just look at it like this. really now uh, the fun, fun part of doodling on top of the colors and find um, the flowers that are hidden on the shapes.
and we could keep going and going until we have <laughs> yes until we have a garden on our paper like I already did some more on here and uh, and I'm just stopping this because I want to give you another the ideas what I would do with this of course we have lots of things that we could do uh, but I want to give you an idea and uh, already like these I I love I love just doing these imagine do uh, like you go outside on your balcony just sunny or on your on the winter when we don't have flowers and we have these to make us happy and we are just playing around it's it's forgiven is freeing it's stress-free and we have just a great time and what could this be of course this can be by itself a page on our on your art journal by itself I have here my one of my art journals okay by itself if I take my phones you hear me I think you <laughs> I think you just let me know please because they are always falling and I believe the sound it comes from the 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 camera so by itself you can have these on your journal and it's so beautiful like this but you also can uh, imagine like if you cut these in little squares like little squares you have just let me add one little parts of a garden <laughs> for example I like this I always like this idea of this construction uh, we create and then we disconstruct and then we recreate on another thing just like this you have a, a beautiful part to add and stitch on a page on your journal just like this and I have another idea that I want to share where did I put there um, but I want to ah, it's here and I want to to make this with you I love to turn these into tapes okay into tapes and how can I do this? Imagine, let me see one that I already play a lot. For example, this one. I like, you can just cut them on strips on different uh, sizes, okay? Just let me, and don't feel sad of now, you are ruining your flowers, you are never ruining nothing. It's just altering, you can just make different sizes okay and okay one another one okay. more large more yes <laughs> yeah washi tape like that and now How, how beautiful they are like these I just love 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 these and then let me see here this one is so beautiful too I want to take a little bit of this one okay and what I do is I come here with a double size tape a double side no double side tape and then we can take a little bit and you can prepare b several of them in advance because they have double size double side and we can just gather them like this we don't peel this part here and we storage them and when we we want to make 
something with our tape. For example, I had here a frame I could doodle now inside. And I had here, let me see, ah, here. I had this, for example, on this part that was connecting these two pages from my journal. So now you can use this as a mask, a washi tape. I'm just peeling this part here just to, to share when we want. We want, for example, that I want to embellish this top page here. How beautiful it is. And now it's totally different, but we see the colors, we have some shapes of the flowers, so it immediately uh, brings that sense of um, botanical to your paper, to your journal page. We can do, could do journal a little bit here, or some words on here, and doodle, or draw something on here, or a picture, whatever, you know, like, uh, whatever you want it to do. So, this is my idea for you. For example, this one here. Little squares. I use photocopies to art. Art that I can't bear. Yeah. That's a great idea too, yes. And you could like scan these and have your own um, watercolor botanicals uh, copy paper. For example, I would come here and add this on another page. For example, here. I like this besides my 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 embroidery, this embroidery here or here or glue it here. Let me put a little bit of uh, tape on here. So how is your uh, botanicals page? I hope that you made with me. Just take this off to head to my, my journal just right now. Let me see if I want this here. I think it's beautiful here, yes. How it is going, your botanicals? How can an hour fly so fast? I want to um, invite you to join me uh, on Wonderlust and the amazing team of um, teachers that is um, curated, was curated by the team. And I am so honored that um, I'll be with you six times during the entire year or so and I already I already know of course I know in advance all the the, the themes and um, I'm already dreaming and curating ideas for the lessons um, so I hope you join us and I want to know if you did like the, le the this uh, play fun, a session and I'm waiting for to see your drawings, your uh, flowers in the, the section of the class. Let me know. Uh, let me see. If you have any question, please let me know. Okay, I think it's not. We don't have any questions at all. Oops, I, I lost my shot again. Okay. Yes, I will be guest host, and I am so honored, so happy um, with that, and <laughs> already imagine the lesson. So I invite you to join me, and yeah, let me know how it was this. Thank you. Yeah, please try and let me know because um, it's a, a process very freeing, very forgiven. We cannot mess or make any wrong here, you know, like just pure play. 
and more than that you have after that you have a, a resource this is a base and from here you can create so much different things that you can add into your journals and I was doing this one for example and then I cut this part and I already imagine adding another page totally different for example uh, a brown one on here because I really like this a transition of the brown to the color so I think uh, I think you have um, the base for so many things to go from here let me see yeah it's freeing and intuitive and oh Lila please no <laughs> we it's just on our head that that feeling that the other one looks better and thus better but that is not possible because it's just you saw it's just like making some uh, shapes and so uh, you keep going okay keep going sometimes it's the the color the intensity of the color that my themes more more bright and our eyes like might like that <laughs> with colored pencils ah uh, yes colored pencils do amazing yes with or the same colors or contrasting colors on here so yes it's another way great idea thank you so much uh some yeah when we do the, the lines it's different it's another layer and the flowers start to appearing yes but also of course it's totally different we have these it's almost nothing and then we have the lines yes that's that's the thing amy yes h and i from that day that's the story that i told you from my husband and I think I have some pictures. We we outside in the garden, just me trying to be precise with the flowers. And then I accepted that I am not a precise person, and I am not uh, on the aim to uh, on uh, aspiring to draw very well because I'm a little messy and just, I don't know. Like I, I just like this, but I'm probably not that person that will ever do a very um, precise flower so you keep going each one of you is it the 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 things the the way that we express it in individual and you keep going and you start liking what you do is you just need to give time for you express okay um, <laughs> Thank you. To make collage with, yeah, collage. So that's lots of possibilities. So, my friends, I hope you really have had fun and now you have the reply and you can play uh, at your pace and explore these ideas that I bring to you again join us it will be an amazing year uh with all these amazing artists and i will be with you uh six times in the year uh on each of the themes the themes are um, the themes are awesome and a very what i like you know i just like just this little thing just to close uh, my uh, my life and my session is that uh, the themes are, of course, uh, sent to us teachers. And then the cool thing, the great thing that I love, and this happens as we are students, as we are making the lessons, is that ignites and creativity. And it makes me, and I love that, because I love to explore. Just let me shh. Okay, because I love, love to explore, it needs me to think out of the box and, uh, oh my God, landscapes, I don't know, I don't usually draw landscapes, but 
keeps, keeps us to think out of the box and how could I bring landscapes as my work, you know, like, and these in every uh, of the themes. So for us, uh, while students is the same. So it opens the creativity, opens the, the, the possibilities for us to grow as we go on our art journey. So it's for sure an amazing thing for you. I hope you join us. So I will say goodbye because I believe another session will start soon. I don't know, but I think so. So thank you so much. A big hug and a big thank you for being with me. Um, and I will be saying ciao, ciao and goodbye. Thank you.